Aaron here from Honda Pilot Overland. Today we're going over the top 10 most common issues with first gen Honda Pilots. If you've overcome any of these problems and you have experience that you'd like to share, please leave it in the comments below. If you currently are suffering from one of these problems and you need some help, go ahead and leave a comment below and I will do my best to point you in the right direction. And uh, we're gonna get into this list. I've ordered it from what I think is the lowest impact to the most, the highest impact. And we're gonna start right here in front of me with the Honda emblem. Every Honda Pilot that I've ever seen has this emblem rubbed off. Which is really strange because I don't ever touch, since I bought the Pilot, I hardly ever touch it. So clearly there's some kind of a paint flaw there. If you have an idea of how to fix this emblem and make it a little bit less hideous, please let me know. All right, so the next common issue that you might deal with in a Honda Pilot is the TPMS sensors. The batteries in these sensors last approximately seven years. So if you're looking at like a uh, you know 2003 to 2008 Pilot, you're well beyond the seven year mark of the average battery life for a sensor. And uh, if you buy the sensors on Amazon and take them to a tire shop, a lot of them can install them for you for a pretty reasonable price. I'd recommend doing it when you replace the tires with new tires. So the next common issue is that the heat air blend door actuator goes bad on these pilots. And uh, one of the symptoms is that the uh, air conditioning only seems to work on the coldest setting and the hottest setting the in-between settings don't seem to you know really work it's like all or nothing um, another symptom is that you'll hear this strange gurgling noise from back behind the center of your dash uh, that's a sign that the little gears and the uh, actuator have gone bad and this used to be a really expensive problem to fix but thankfully now there's like a 26 dollar uh, motor on amazon the next hideous problem with pilots and many uh, Hondas from this era, is that the foam-backed fabric that they use in these vehicles, uh, the foam just disintegrates over time and it falls down. Um, as you can see, I have just pinned it up for now. You can pay someone to replace the fabric for about $300 or you can do it yourself and buy the materials. And uh, I think you can do it for about $100 if you do it yourself. I have put off on this repair, but I will be picking up this project soon. Let's take a closer look at the front of the Pilot to see the next problem. It's not really unique to the Pilot, but they definitely have clear coat peeling issues. Certain colors are worse than others. I've heard that the white color actually just can straight come off. Uh, but for me, I just have a peeling clear coat on my bumper cover. It's hard to tell exactly why it's peeling where it is. Maybe it got hit by rocks or something. But uh, if I wanted to, I could just take this to a paint shop, take my cover off and get them to paint it up. So it's not too big of a deal. I just kind of try to bury my problems in dirt. So the more dirt I have, the less obvious the paint issue is. Overall, the rest of the car is actually in really good shape paint wise uh, for the abuse that I put on it. So I would say uh, if you keep your eyes out, you can probably probably find a pilot in pretty good condition paint wise. While we're at the front here, uh, that brings me up to the next point, which is that these vehicles don't come stock with a transmission cooler. And if you like doing off-roading like I do, or like towing like I do, then you're gonna wanna put an aftermarket transmission cooler in there. Uh, so you can kinda see it right in here is my uh, transmission cooler that I installed. It's not too hard of a DIY, so I'm sure you guys could figure it out or you could just pay a shop to install it. The next issue we need to talk about is the dreaded P0420 code. It basically means your catalytic converter is not working uh, to its maximum potential anymore. If you live in a state like mine where you can get away with just spacing the sensor out, you can buy spark plug defoulers. Um, they're very cheap, like 10 bucks for two, and uh, you can get away with just spacing the sensor out. If you live in a state where emissions is checked, then you'll need to purchase new catalytic converters and get them installed. Another common issue with Honda Pilots is that over time, the rear coil springs sag, 
Um, you know, the vehicle is designed to tow some weight, like 4,500 pounds, carry eight passengers. But if you throw eight passengers or tow with the original, you know, setup, uh, it really sags in the rear. So you can kind of do like I did and put a lift kit on it and put some, um, some air springs in the rear that help, you know, reduce the sag. Um, or you can uh, replace the coils, the springs themselves in the rear to kind of compensate for that. Um, obviously there's quite a few solutions to it, but um, you know, if you have a, a pilot with a saggy rear end, you gotta fix it, man. It's embarrassing. If you're buying a pilot with age on it um, and it has unknown maintenance records, one of the first things you're gonna wanna do is replace the timing belt. It is a kit that costs I haven't checked up on it lately, but it's probably like a $200 kit to buy the ASIN kit, which is what you want. You don't want to cheap out on the timing belt kit. Um, and if you take it to a shop, I'm sure it's $1,000 or so for the repair. That being said, it is one of the ways you could just destroy your pilot. If the timing belt breaks, there's a good chance that the motor is going to be toast. So you're definitely going to want to make sure that that's been done or do it yourself, you know, for ease of mind if you're investing in one of these vehicles. And that leads me to the worst issue that the pilots have that they suffer from, which is unfortunately they do have a spot in the rear where they have, uh, where the subframe can rot. Actually, it's the body frame that rots um, and it causes the subframe to kind of pull out. So my pilot is not a Northern car. Uh, it doesn't have a lot of rust underneath of it, but it still suffered from this issue and I believe it's because Honda did not properly drain the area. There's like a recessed spot that just pools water and it just holds it there. And that's why it rots out. But I have repaired it. It's not the most amazing repair, but it's been holding up to my off-road adventures so far. I basically took a quarter inch plate steel and a quarter inch angle and just kind of welded a saddle, slid it into there, bolted it through from the top and the bottom and it's been holding up really well so far. If you're looking at buying a pilot, that's gonna be the first thing you wanna look at. The, the damage is repairable. Um, I've seen online there's someone who replaces the whole cross member, and obviously that's excessive. Not everybody's gonna to wanna to do that, but for someone like me who really likes the vehicle and you know doesn't have a lot of free money, so I don't wanna loan or anything like that, I might would consider uh, spending some money to fix that one major flaw of the vehicle. So if you're out there looking to buy a pilot, make sure you check those rear uh, frames where the subframe meets the body. That sums up my video on the top 10 most common issues with first gen Honda pilots. If you think I forgot something that should have been part of the list, go ahead and let me know in the comments below. I really like that my comment section is a place where pilot owners can share their stories about their pilots, you know, share, uh, seek advice. Um, if you have any of these problems and you are having trouble with them, um, go ahead and leave a comment letting me know and I'll do my best to point you in the right direction. If you want to see more content like this, consider subscribing. Uh, if you want to see my videos succeed, consider clicking the like button. If you want to see me perform even crazier mods on my pilot, consider subscribing to Patreon. We don't currently have any subscribers, but my wife's given me permission to invest all the money I get from there directly back into the, the car. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I've got some really cool ideas. I'd like to have a three and a half inch lift. I'd like to go with the biggest tires that I can fit on it. Um, I'd like to just see what this platform can do. I've got some ideas for a winch. Um, so if you want to see the haters heads turn as I uh, pass them on the trail, uh, again, consider subscribing to that Patreon. Um, as soon as we have some subscribers, um, you'll notice the different tiers have uh, merch that comes with them. Um, we'll create that merch as soon as we get the subscribers. So uh, let me know if you have any questions. And I really appreciate the views. Have a great day and happy trails.